This video has been sponsored by NordVPN. To find out more, please stay tuned to the end of the video. There's a bit more like grot and grime. Oh, that is absolutely disgusting. Look at what I've just pulled out of that. That is some food or something. I have just bought a Nintendo Switch Lite for £110. What? Second hand, £110. I bought it locally. Here are the messages. Um, I basically saw it on the Facebook buy and sell group for Jersey. It's like a local Facebook group. And I saw the person had listed it for £160. So I sent them an offer for £100. It was very cheeky and sneaky of me. Um, but I just thought, I don't really need another one. I'll just send them a lowball offer of £100. Quid. Very rude of me. Very cheeky of me. They were obviously pretty happy with that number and they just asked if I could just increase it a tiny bit. I offered them 110 and they took it. I met the lady, here's a little bit of proof. Hello. He'd rather go on his phone. Okay. But we did get it, but we just paid Fortnite on it. And... Right, 110, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. And here it is in my possession, the Nintendo Switch Lite in turquoise. Um, I think this is by far the nicest looking Switch Lite. It came with the box, which I wasn't really expecting. Let's just get straight into it and the reason why this has ended up being a let's refurb. So one thing that um, console collectors, and to be honest, people in general don't like, is things that smell of smoke. And unfortunately, handheld consoles are something that really suffer from um, a smoker being an owner of it. Um, we have got the charger in here as well, the USB-C Nintendo charger and the manual. Um, and there's nothing actually else that comes with the Switch Lite. So it literally comes with everything the Switch Lite comes with. So here is the console itself. Now let's just pull it out. I've turned it on already and it does work. There's a heck of a lot of fingerprints on it. Um, it's actually pretty scratched as well, which I'm not really sure how that could have happened. Um, I have got some photos of the scratches on my phone, although you may be able to pick them up on the camera. And there's a few big scratches going across the top as well, which is just really upsetting to think that a console has ended up in this condition when it's literally a couple of weeks old. The biggest problem is the lady who sold this to me said her son was no longer interested in it. I'm not sure how old the son was. She said that he played Fortnite and used it for YouTube, but the joysticks are yellow. It's not gonna pick up very well on my camera because the white balance is quite bright, but let me just show you a quick photo of comparing it to my Nintendo Switch, and the joysticks are just absolutely yellow. And I gave them a sniff, and they stink of smoke. They absolutely reek of smoke. And then you start to look around the console and it's actually sort of browned on some of the edges where it's been in the palms, which is just gross. And uh, there's also like dirt and stuff in the X and Y buttons. And I think it just needs to be absolutely cleaned. One thing I am gonna be doing as well, of course, is replacing the joysticks. I picked up these bad boys from China, um, about pound fifty, I think, something ridiculously cheap. Uh, so if you eventually have joystick drift, this video should also help you with that. Let's get straight into it.
never actually gotten this far taking a Nintendo Switch apart, so I am quite nervous. I think I've undone everything that I can possibly see which would free this board out. We don't actually need to disassemble it any further because only what we're doing is just trying to clean all the buttons and replace the joysticks. Is that it out? That is our Switch Lite. This is what is worth the money. Everything else can be replaced. This is what is gonna be worth the money. This is what's gonna get water damage down the line. This right here is what is gonna be worth your 160 bucks right now. Well, actually $200 um, and 200 pounds. Uh, this is what's gonna get water damage and this is what Vince is gonna be replacing chips on and et cetera, et cetera. Um, so we can stop talking about that now. So there is our final joystick. Let's get that bad boy out. Fortunately, um, this joystick isn't actually gonna get as much drift. It's definitely not gonna get as much drift because you don't really play that many games that utilize this joystick. Most of the games, you know, like Breath of the Wild, Link's Awakening, you're gonna be using the joystick from um, this side. So that is obviously easily accessible because that's just under this motherboard right here. So fortunately, you know, they've done that probably because um, these things are gonna need to be replaced eventually down the line. But hopefully you saw in that shot before the difference in color between these two. It's really, really nasty and it absolutely stinks. And there's no way I could ever use this knowing that it's just covered in you know, nicotine and, and tobacco and all that sort of stuff. Um, I'm also gonna give these little button membranes and stuff a clean, so we'll do that in just a second, um, as well as these buttons. Let's go ahead, clean everything, and uh, reassemble, and we'll be good to go. Does it even work? A little bit nervous. Oh, Nintendo logo. Fingers crossed. Keep it in focus. Nintendo Switch logo. Are we gonna get any errors or anything like that? No. Home button. Volume works. Right, touchscreen works. Joystick works. Good, all the joysticks and buttons work, that's nice. Let's have a look then at the control sticks. So pressing them down, that works. They're very, very fast and snappy. Very good, let's try this one now. Lovely. Okay, good. Just to give this thing a final clean, hopefully just removing any further smells. Um, I did obviously use isopropyl alcohol on the buttons, which hopefully would have just removed the layer of um, 
you know, smoke smell that we could, uh, that I could smell, which is really, really nasty. I'm just not a big fan of having, you know, smoke on it. Maybe if, if you're actually a smoker yourself, then it's not gonna be, you know, as big as a bother, but um, yeah. Final clean then on the back. And uh, yeah, I'm super happy with it, with this for 110 pounds. Lovely, look at that. Super happy with that, 110 pounds. Uh, Billy bargain, or as I like to say, Bilbo bargains. We've removed the nasty, freaking orange joysticks from this thing uh really gross i'm glad they're gone the white balance as i said makes them look okay but they are nasty in, in person i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like if you're new to the channel consider subscribing and i'll catch you in the next video peace hey this video has been sponsored by NordVPN. A VPN is a program that redirects your data that comes in and out of your devices from the internet. This process is very secure and safe and protects your data, especially when using public Wi-Fi. NordVPN is something that I have used on all of my devices for some time now. The benefit of NordVPN is that you can use one account on up to six different devices. You don't notice any difference in internet speeds, but have the full security and protection from malicious activity. To find out more information, simply go to www.nordvpn.org forward slash the retro future and use code the retro future to get 70% off a three year plan and get an extra month for free. Damn, that sounds professional.